what does this link between time and memory have to do with our normal lives? Well, this is why time seems to speed up for all of us as we get older. We all have the impression that a childhood summer seemed to last forever. But when you're older, the summers are here and then they're gone. And years zip by and decades zip by. Well, now you know why. It's because the job of the brain is to build an internal model of the world out there. Your brain is locked in silence and darkness inside your skull, and all it's trying to do is understand the structures of the world so it can operate in it better. And whenever it encounters a surprise, it writes that down and it makes changes to your circuitry. But as you go through life, and your brain develops better models of the world, less and less carry as much surprise. And this is why you lay down fewer memories as you age. It's because you've seen that situation before and you've met that personality before and you've done that job before. And so the memories that you lay down are much thinner, they're more impoverished. But in contrast, when you're in your childhood, everything is new. And so the richness of that, of your memories, gives you the impression of increased duration. When you are looking back at the end of a childhood summer, it seems to have lasted for such a long time because everything was new. But when you're looking back at the end of an adult summer, it seems to have disappeared rapidly because you haven't written much down in your memory. So. I don't recommend emergency situations, but it sure does make you operate like you're a child again. So here is the take home lesson. We have to seek novelty because this is what lays down new memories in the brain. So one thing I do every day that I can, I drive home a different route from work. It's not that hard and it doesn't take much longer but it allows me to see things in a fresh way. Most of us have had the experience that when you drive to work for the first time, it seems to take a really long time, but after that it shrinks. And it's because you're becoming an automatized zombie and you're just running this program unconsciously of driving to work. You're not noticing new things anymore. And another thing I try to do is rearrange my office every month or so. It's really easy. You just push your desk over to the other side, you maybe swap the artwork on the walls, things like that. These are easy things to do. One thing that I recommend is tonight, brush your teeth with your other hand. It's not that hard to do, but it will make you seem as though you are extending your time a bit because you're forcing your brain off its hamster wheel of doing things a particular way every day. And by the way, if you wear a watch or a Fitbit, switch it to the other hand so that when you are looking at it, it's not just an automatic thing, but it's something you have to put a little bit of attention towards. So all these kind of things, any version of this, it's the best thing that you can do to perceptually extend your life. 